Hey guys, for today's video, I'm going to show you how to deal with Bardinet. So if you're high diamond players or low masters, uh, you're probably going to face Bardinet if you haven't faced him already. And if you're lower, you're going to meet probably some fanboys maybe along the way. So the idea of that guy is that he goes Ivern top, Bard top. Uh, he can do some other like maybe Ramus top, etc. And he would stay to uh, top lane up until level 2 or 3. And then he starts roaming on the map. That's it. And his idea is that he's going to lose some value top lane and he knows what he's gonna lose top lane but he believes that he can get more on the rest of the map and i personally don't like this gameplay and i would never apply it to myself because only works because of enemy team is disrespecting him if everyone respects the fact that they're playing being one less on the map and they just wait for top lane to do their things they're like they're, they're gonna win the game most likely so the first time i faced him i actually like lost the game and then the five following times i won it because i think i understood how to actually make it work what's the right things to say to type to your team and the right way to actually use your own champion in that in that case so i talk about it during the game there's plenty of value there plus it's it's actually kind of a different game that could be interesting for you guys so i hope you enjoyed the video feel free to drop a like a comment or a subscription if you do much love oh also how do i forget about this i got my damage towards pb it's an insane number it's pretty crazy it's pretty funny yeah enjoy <laughs> Okay, let's change chromas. Uh, the only one that I didn't try yet, I guess I didn't try gold and plat, so let's try plat now. Who stop? Oh, am I against Bardinet? Probably. Perfect, and let me win. I have a driver's license. I'm against Bardinet, I think. Uh... Yeah, it's him. So I've been winning against Bardinet more than I've been losing. Uh... So I kind of know how to deal with them, but it's not dependent on me. It's dependent on my team. And the fact that they respect the part in it. Um, so if you guys don't know him, he's going to play bar top, but he's going to like just stay top until level 2 or something. And then he's going to perma roam. So he's gonna let me uh, like farm plates, take turret for free. It's gonna be pretty fast, but his whole point is that he gets more in the map that I get top. Here in, and then just consider they have number advantage. Always, we win by default. Gameplay only works if you don't respect GLHF, even if it's not fun. Okay, that's all I have to do though. That's all I have to say. Uh, d is going to be pretty valuable still. Or maybe... Maybe I wanna rush Tiamat. But I mean it has so much value deep blade though. I'm just gonna, not gonna buy a potion. Okay, well now you cannot pray for your team to respect. I mean <laughs> Yeah. I'm not leashing. I could be though, I guess. Guess it's not gonna change much if I leash. Oh now nah, this chroma looks good though. Yeah. 
This chroma looks pretty good. Okay. Where is he? Ah, he's not gonna roam farm level 1. Okay, flash. Get fucked. And now he's gonna roam. Okay, not yet. I'm not a big fan of not basing for Tiamat, but I feel I feel like. Just gonna lane for a bit more, a bit longer. Probably the best that I can do. Be stronger so I can keep punishing. I have Tiamat now. Okay, it's weird. It's not your typical bard in a game. I'm being very focused. My eyes are a lot on the minimap. I'm waiting for next wave. Before I push. Okay. Yeah, he bought the support item. And he starts roaming. Okay, well he did way later than, than usual. Now he's moving towards top. But that could be a fake. He likes to fake a lot. Yeah, I've been watching his streams, so it kinda helps. Also, I've been facing him probably like four or five times, so. Up. Ok, 
Okay, I see Graves actually. He hasn't hit a Q on me. Does he have TP? Doesn't. Don't get hooked, Diego. Oh. I got hooked. I guess it doesn't matter. Don't keep, don't keep going. An ally has been slain. Wait, does it keep going? Kill. Oh, it was so good. An enemy has been slain. Oh, it's actually fine for them. Okay, I get a lot here. Wait, A saw is top. Follow my Well, meteorites are not in danger. We didn't lose even one plate yet. Yeah, I had, I had a bit of a window. I was concerned that they don't win a 4v5. But I guess they do win 4v5. Well, okay, top, uh, top turret now. Okay, I think they're gonna We have TP on Corky. Well, <laughs> he hasn't been hit hitting one Q on me. I think I'd rather play Drake than Groves. Shit, it's bad. Uh, Aesa is actually hovering top. 
in between waves. I mean, I guess it's. But I have my, uh, I have my straight. But why, why, do, why, why is everyone taping so much? It's good. Like we're doing a good job. Game is going our way. Okay, I'm muting. What the fuck? So much typing, man. Okay. No, you don't want to fight this. Don't want to fight anything. Rolling, what the fuck? What the fuck? Ah, now we're letting Bardinet do his work. Because Camille tried to make a play. The idea right now is that I take I take Harold and I put it bot. I Harold then go bot. Oh shit, I was I was gonna forget it once once again. You got Okay. Okay, very really nice. My plan has been executed just like I wanted. Ah, uh, Viego stayed too long on the map. So I could either try to play for resets on Diego, or I could play to get every single turret in the game. I committed, I think we're late on the Drake. Because of Diego reset. Your team has 
I already gave us info comment for his I mean, I, I was thinking about Holebreaker, but the thing is, there's no, there's no more turrets to take, you know. So there's no point in getting Holebreaker. Well, I'm three items. I'm a problem. And pretty much no one can deal with me. Okay, what way are we fighting though? I thought that was the twi outside of it. Ah, uh, my bad. MB, wait, my pressure, though. I'm a problem. They can't deal with me. I thought that was outside of it. My bad. I give a shot on to S. Wait, my pressure, please. We don't end, we don't end, we need to go this. Do we end? I don't think we do. Rolling. We are trolling really hard. Big troll, we don't end. Decent pings, the donkeys. I'm gonna try to go Nash. Uh, 
fine. We'll get plenty of their Nashes. We'll get Drake. Play for top inhib emo for obs. I can get pressure. I mean, we're getting pressure by default on lanes. Ah, oh, Sedge. Got really close. Just run. We got triple inhib. That's what we wanted. Maybe I should have went M um, on on Asol when it was only him. So I couldn't eat the wave. I had to E me. I don't know. Okay, we just have to dive one turret, but they have a soul. Can we even dive one turret with triple inhib? I don't even think so. I think, I mean, the safest safest option is just to wait for for Nexus for Nash. Okay, we're poking. It got scary, why? Because at one point they didn't respect Vardinet rotations. Okay, nice. I think I'm posting this on YouTube because it's always interesting to approach different games from different perspectives. And this one is gonna be called How to Deal with Vardinet. Because legit, I think I have like the first time I faced him, I had no idea what like what was actually going on. And I think he, yeah, I think he like stomped my team and it was a 18 minute loss or something. And then I faced him five more times and I won all five. So yeah, not, not too concerned about him anymore. I just like, I'm just feeling the pressure though, because, well, because uh, it's on your team's hands, you know, it's not completely reliant on you if you're going to win the game or not. I mean, it never is, but here particularly. Um, okay, well, yeah, we did our job. Let's see, damage to champions really low, as expected. Damage to turrets, 20, what? <laughs> yeah. What? Oh, shit.
Well, that's a BB. What the fuck? Have you ever seen this? Outside of, of Zix and... And who else? Like, people who over overkill turrets. 28,000 damage turrets. I mean, I think my old PB was 24 and the previous one was 23. Well, I guess I, take, I took T22 me, T22 top, T22 bot, T3 bot, T3 mid. No, I didn't take T1, I take T2, T3. I take... I hit damage procs on both Nexus turrets. What the fuck? Well, that's something. Well, if it's been posted, well, thank you guys so much for watching it. Next video is going to be to almost same, same place. Till then, take care of yourselves. Good luck and have fun in game and in real life. And we'll see you next time. Peace. Much love. Bye-bye.